I knew it was a bad idea coming here. I don't usually go to parties like this, but when you advertise something as a pool party, why are you looking at me crazy for actually using the pool? These people make no sense. It's just the same thing over again. Loud music, people smiling in your face and then talking about you behind your back. And there's always some weirdo making direct eye contact with you from across the room. There's no one here that I even want to hang out with. There's one person I want to see, and this isn't really their scene. I feel like it would be weird hitting them up now considering we only spoke like two times. Ugh, I really wish they were here. <gasps> but if my eyes don't deceive me, then maybe my wish came true. Hey you! That's crazy. I was just thinking about you. Relax. You don't have to get so flustered. I just mean that there's not really anybody at this party that I want to talk to, and I feel like our interactions so far have been pretty memorable. Why are you even at a place like this? So I'm not crazy. I took a dip in the pool earlier and all of a sudden I just hear everybody gasp and I swear for a second, I thought there might have been a shark in the pool. But apparently going to a pool party means hanging around the pool with some shitty music and colorful lights. Did you come here with anyone? So we're both just loners, huh? Wanna raid the snack table and then get out of here? Wanna know my favorite thing about parties? People watching. Look over there. That guy has been trying to hit on that girl for 20 minutes. Her face tells me he's using some really bad pickup lines. Mm, I'll voice over for him and you do the girl. Hey baby girl, do you come here often? Are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 I see. Oh, you're from Indiana? Never mind. <laughs> oh, turn your head a little to the right. That girl on her phone is definitely fighting with her boyfriend. Oh my god, Ryan, you like totes abandoned me at this lame party. You're with Brittany, aren't you? And that's why I slept with your best friend, you scumbag. <laughs> My stomach hurts. I can't breathe out. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. People watching is definitely more fun when you have someone to do it with. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. <gasps> but before we do, what do you say we cannonball in the pool? That was awesome. Did you see the looks on their faces when they got drenched? Totally worth it. All right, let's get out of here before someone decides to come after us. Whew, that was really fun, but I forgot how cold it is when you get out of the water. Hey, wanna go to my secret hideout? Well, I'm not telling you. That's why it's a secret. Come on, it's not that far of a hike. <sighs> what a beautiful night. I said, what a beautiful night. Come on, dude. That was your cue to say, not as beautiful as you. No, no, I don't want to hear it now. Nope, <laughs> you lost it. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah, it's a photo booth. 
but it has this fortune telling game inside that prints out pictures with fortunes on them. Wanna try it out? Mm, do you have an extra quarter? Thanks. Okay, press start. It's gonna give you a mini quiz. It'll ask your age, sign, stuff like that. Okay, now my turn. Now pose for the pictures. Okay, now do a cute one. And now a silly one. Aw, these turned out so cute. Oh my god, look at your face in that one. Alrighty, time to read the fortune. Your journey is just beginning. Embrace the unexpected and trust in the bonds you form. A kindred spirit will help you uncover hidden strengths and awaken new feelings within you. Hmm, kind of cryptic, but cool, right? Here, you can have a copy. Now we both have memories from this night. Come on, let's keep moving. Well, here we are. Where are we? Wouldn't you like to know? We're in my backyard. Oh, that's not the secret part. Look up. Yep, that's the treehouse my dad built when I was a kid. Follow me. Just watch your step because it's really dark. Ta-da! Welcome to my sanctuary. I know, right? How cool is this? I've had quite a few years to deck this place out and make it my own. I swear I'm probably here more than I am at home. Yeah, I have a bunch of blankets and cushions because sometimes I have little sleepovers in here. I swear, and it's more comfortable than my bed. Lie down, try it out. See, I told you. <sighs> this is the life. I love that little window over there because the stars seem so much closer. I know that probably sounds silly because we're so small and there's probably no difference between watching them here and on the ground, but... I don't know. I guess I just appreciate them a lot more from up here. Even better when there's a full moon and it illuminates the whole treehouse. I don't even need my string lights sometimes. Oh, look. I can't tell if that's an airplane or a shooting star, but make a wish. Can we pretend that airplane and I feel like shooting stars? I can really use a wish right now, wish right now, wish right now. <laughs> I'm not telling you. It's not going to come true if I do. But if it does come true, then I'll tell you. Sound fair? Hey... You didn't mind leaving that party and coming here, did you? I'm just making sure because I feel like I kind of was like, all right, time to go, and maybe felt pressured to come along. Eh, I don't know if hanging with me is really more fun than being there, but thank you. That's really sweet. 
I've had more fun with you in the last 30 minutes than I did at any of these parties. I don't even know why I still bother going. I'd rather get fucked by a cactus than see my classmates outside of school. Like, sometimes I think I'm hitting it off with someone, then come to find out, it was just the drinks that were making it fun. Like the last party I went to, I was having a lot of fun with Jess. You know her, right? Yeah, we talked for a while. We were laughing, cracking jokes, and then I say hi to her the next day in the halls, and she just looks at me like she's confused. You know that meme of that grandpa who ate green paint and thought it was like yogurt or something? Yeah, she looked just like that. Then I'm like, ah, I see. A moment of vulnerability for me was a moment of entertainment for you. Mm-hmm. I have a question. Do you want to cuddle? I said... Do you want to cuddle? You don't have to get nervous. You're allowed to say no. Oh, okay. Can I be Big Spoon? Just for now. Come on, just for a little bit. Then we could switch when we go to sleep. Huh? I didn't say anything. Yay! I'm actually really glad I came out today. Otherwise, I wouldn't have ran into you. I mean, I wanted to hit you up, but I was nervous because we've only seen each other twice and that was by chance. And I don't really consider those times as hangouts, more like me saving your ass when you didn't ask me to. But yeah, I don't know. You make me nervous. Oh yeah, I'm quite literally known as the girl who hides her emotions well. What, you thought you were going to be an exception? <laughs> Seriously though, you're fun and weird. Not in a bad way. I just like that you don't conform to everybody else's standards. You're like pineapple on pizza. Not everyone gets it, but those who do really love it. All right. I think I'm ready to be Little Spoon. Don't tell me you got comfortable. Well, you had your turn. Now move it. This is so comfortable. I feel like I just took a shit ton of melatonin. I'm getting really sleepy. You're gonna stay the night, right? You don't have to, but let's just stay like this for a little bit. Mm -mm. Good night, pineapple. <laughs>